Okay guys, so welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Lacey Lavelle and today I just wanted to talk to you guys because I feel like I haven't really been able to do a video. Like I squeezed in a video in the bathroom the other day, but that's not how I want to do it. Like I really want to take my time and do these videos as I want to, right? So before I start this video, I do want to tell you that if she looks familiar, it's because she is. This is Alexis, the, the wig from the unboxing when I did the two uh, wigs like two videos ago and when you originally saw her there was a middle part so today I decided to do a side part and she is beautiful she is really beautiful she has me feeling glamorous today so um you know the update on her is that she's still fabulous okay <laughs> So, today I just wanted to talk to you really quickly about my progress. I am 12 pounds down. I know I just did like a video on this before, but so what? I want to like really talk to you guys about um, my whole progress and where I am mentally and where I was mentally when I first began. So, when I first started... I did not feel like it. I just didn't feel like it. I didn't feel like eating right. I didn't feel like working out. I didn't feel like it. <laughs> and I was just like, one of my girlfriends tagged me in a challenge and I was just like, I had already been looking at the challenge, but I wasn't motivated to accept the challenge. The, um... Anoa Aja, lose the gut, keep the butt. I was like, I'm going to do it because I got the DVD. And then I just never got around to it. And then one of my friends uh, tagged me in it. And I was like, you know what? Maybe this is confirmation for me to just go and just do it. I threw myself into this challenge. I did not want to do it. But sometimes you have to shake yourself you know, out of your comfort zone and go and do whatever it is that's going to get you closer to your goals. And when I decided to do it, I was just like, all right, I know that I can't just work out because I've done that in the past and I haven't gotten the results that I wanted. And when I was eating right and I was working out, I was losing weight very quickly. So I decided that I'm just going to, you know, whip myself into shape and just do it. And trust me, every day I'm dragging my feet. I haven't done my workout yet. But that's because they're working on the water right now and I don't want to get all sweaty and whatever. But I haven't done, I haven't even done my workout yet. And every day, like yesterday, sorry, it's, my, it's probably going to do that a few times anyway. But sometimes you got to push yourself. You have to push yourself um, to just snap out of it because... I've been feeling very, I don't want to say I've been depressed, but my emotions have been up and down and up and down. And usually when I'm in that place, I pack on pounds when I'm in that place. And I threw myself into it. I was like, you know what? If I pay the money to enter this challenge, I'm going to do the challenge. So <laughs> in the middle of the night, one night, I was just like, you know what? Let me just do it. And in the middle of sleep, you know, I just, I signed up and that morning I got up and I went and got a few of the things that I thought I would need. Um, the first week you're supposed to do the cleanse. So I did the cleanse, which is like no meat, no carbs, blah, blah, blah. So I did that the first five, the first, basically the first week. I'm still kind of sort of on that. I'm not killing myself for carbs, but I may not even have one carb in a day. It depends, like, if I'm treating myself. And I know some people are going to be like, oh, that's not healthy, da-da-da-da-da. But it's working for me, and I've done it before, and I'm not dying if I don't have a french fry or rice. Um, one thing that I do want to say, though, that when it comes to weight loss or when it comes to doing anything for yourself that's going to get you closer to where you want to be, it's all about your mindset. And I decided that, I don't know if I was just trying to like psych myself out, but I was like, even if that scale don't change, even if the numbers don't get smaller on that scale, even though they did, I was like, 
I'm still going to do this. I'm still going to do this. And I was like, even if I can't get smaller, I at least want to be toned and fit. And I want to feel comfortable in my clothes. And I want to feel sexy. And I don't want to feel like I'm spilling all over the place. The goal originally was for me to feel good in my clothes. And that was the focus. I decided to make that my focus. And I took, I just took my eyes originally. I took my eyes off of um, losing weight. But when I stepped on the scale, I stepped on the scale and I was like, what? 180. <laughs> oh, I was so motivated. Those numbers motivated me so much that I was like, okay, I definitely could do this. I definitely could do this. If I went from 188 to 180 and it's only been five days, this is for me. And one thing that I, I said this um, that I said to my girlfriends this morning is that that weight was never my weight. You know, that weight didn't belong to me because it's leaving me too easily and too fast. This is like, this has been like the easiest it's been um, since I had my son. Because originally, when, originally, originally, when I was trying to lose weight when I first had my son, I was really, really coming down and I was coming down quickly. But I was at home all day, every day with my son. So I didn't have to face the temptations that I have to face now. So one thing that I will say is that I'm very proud of myself because now I work in a restaurant. So I work around a bunch of food that, of course, I really want to eat. But let me tell you what I've noticed, though. Doing this challenge, I've noticed how much I was taking in so much of the wrong stuff. And noticing that the stuff wasn't even filling. Like, if I go to McDonald's and I have a Big Mac and I have fries and I have, you know, a sundae or apple pie, whatever I have. And two hours later, I'm hungry again. Call me fat. Whatever. But two hours later, I'm hungry again. And to think that none of what I put in my body was actually nutritional, you know, nutritious. So I didn't benefit from anything that I ate except the satisfaction of that minute, you know, of being full. I notice now that I'm trying to eat six meals a day and they're all nutritious meals and they're all, well, three meals and then three snacks. I noticed that I'm trying to get all of this in and it's hard to get all of those meals and you feel so full. You're like, I don't really want to eat, but just to keep your metabolism going, you try to sneak in an apple or sneak in a plum or something like that. And it's like, wow, I noticed that I'm staying fuller for longer periods of time and those meals are even smaller than the meals that I was eating. So now I'm trying to fill up and fuel up on things that are good for me you know so I just wanted to update you guys and just let you guys know that I am 12 pounds down and I am still doing everything that I got to do I just went out and got weights I got the ankle weights and I got the 10 pounds and the five pounds um, dumbbells so I'm like I'm really in it and I'm really trying to make this a lifestyle and hold me accountable if you see me falling off please say something sometimes you need somebody to hold you accountable and i had one of my best friends here and every time i was about to slip she was like what are you doing what are you doing even though she ate what she wanted to say she was like what are you doing <laughs> so um thank you for watching this video uh if you like videos like this if you want more videos like this just let me know uh, in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And if you think that somebody else will benefit from a video like this, please share it. Okay? Thank you so much for visiting my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.